Pro-gun supporters, why do you support gun rights? I live on a farm, I have to protect my animals. Because I live where the predators eat your face, while you're alive. I am from former Soviet Union country. And with the current things going on, I support everyone that has a high caliber gun at home and is proficient at it. The country also has very low gun homicide. Even though pretty much anyone can get a gun as long as they meet minimal requirements. Because I am a small female who will never be as large or as strong as man who wants to hurt me or my daughter. It's the only chance I have. Especially when response times can be 20-45 minutes in my area. I trust my ability to protect my family and myself more than the police who are 15-20 minutes away. Average police response in a rural area where I live is 17 minutes. If someone broke into my house with the intention to hurt me and they have a gun and I don't I'd be screwed. My brother was shot twice during a home invasion, burglary. The fact that he was able to return fire is the only thing that saved his life. Edit. I'm not going to get into the weeds with anyone about this topic. A simple question was posed and I responded with my own experience. I'm not going to debate or attempt to persuade, dissuade anyone on their or my own beliefs about gun ownership. Because where I live when seconds count police are 45 minutes away. Average police response time in the USA is 27 minutes. Average response time of 0.45 ACP is 950 feet per second. The police do not have the legal requirement to protect me. I am in charge of protecting me and my own. And the threat out there is fully armed. So why shouldn't I be to defend myself? Some people like them, are responsible with them, and follow all the rules when purchasing and operating them. They shouldn't be prohibited from them. Edit. It's interesting how many responses to this assume that I'm a gun owner and or a conservative. In reality, I'm a queer communist who's never touched a gun in his life. I just believe in freedom of choice on this particular issue. Because the cops and DA where I live are pansies. I got assaulted by a dude. Filed restraining order. Dude violates restraining order. Cops and DA do nothing. He violates again. Nothing happens. Violates again. While I have my kid with me. Nothing happens. I call the AG of the state to see if I can get something happening. Eventually I did. Then, the weirdest thing happens. I'm a supporter of background checks etc. Sensible gun reforms etc. At least. I was. I'm filling out paperwork for a 9mm so I can protect myself should be get any ideas again and I catch myself wondering what the hell I'm doing. This guy he doesn't care about laws. He doesn't care about the police. He doesn't care about restraining orders. He sure as hell doesn't care about paperwork. So here I am jumping through hoops to protect myself from a guy who doesn't care about hoops. If he could get a gun to hurt me, he would. Regardless of legality, gun laws are irrelevant when there are 450M guns in the US. I started talking to people who own guns. I realize exactly how arrogant I was to assume my opinion on firearms was relevant when I didn't own guns. And I didn't know how the basics of violence works. Criminals care about power, not laws. Because I feel everyone has a right to defend themselves. And I see a gun as the easiest to use option. Something everyone can pick up and use. Sure you can use a knife. But getting that close to someone who wants to do you harm is dangerous. Because hunting is better than factory meat farms. I like cuddling with mine. It doesn't make sense to disarm civilians in the face of a violent police force. 
people should be able to protect themselves no matter where they are. In many places, especially in the US and Canada, are far from emergency services. That extra time is the difference between living and dying for many. I'll never support banning guns. That being said, I see the wisdom in better vetting for gun buyers and certain restrictions for preventing mass shootings, etc. City life and rural life are very different, and often the great divider on subjects like this, and many others. I think it's time we stop blanket-type legislation and focus laws where we need them instead of everywhere. Armed minorities are harder to oppress. Citizens are armed, and subjects are not. Studies have shown that firearms are used defensively millions of times a year in the US. The right to defend oneself is a human right. No government can effectively occupy an armed population intent on resisting it. 1. Shooting is a legitimate and fulfilling sport, recreational activity 2. Defense against animals 3. Defense against people 4. 911 is reactionary in nature. I have to call the police for them to come help me. And then wait for them to arrive. I have a right to not be defenseless during that time or if I'm unable to call for help. Point 5. I don't hunt. But it's another completely valid reason. Point 6. How can anyone feel comfortable in a world where only the government and criminals are armed? That's like the two least trustworthy segments of society. Not anti-government. Just pro-higher standards and oversight for government employees at every level. Point 7. The Second Amendment. What else do you suggest an innocent person could use to stop a violent offender? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.